the table. I think it looks very good. Cliff is right there. The guardrail's like nothing. Look at this! It's called chivalry. All right, starting off another vlog in the kitchen as per usual. Um, welcome back. Starting this off so late, it's 4.30 in the afternoon now. We spent the day in downtown Flagstaff today because we went out for coffee and then we ended up like roaming the entire downtown. We went out for a beer, I got an acai bowl, we explored different places, and I bought some incense, so I'm gonna burn some because it's a very tiny apartment here and you can smell everything which kind of sucks, so um, I got this little, I don't know what this is called, but it's like little stands for it. This has just like little stars and a moon on it. I did take some clips while I was in downtown Flagstaff, so I'm gonna roll those clips and then we will chat when that's done. Welcome if you're new, my name's Jillian, I just moved to Arizona. So we're getting adjusted and we're getting sorted and all like fun things are happening over here on the channel as you've seen up until this point. Summer rain on the window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall Covering this up, a package has arrived. We got a desk, we're gonna build it. All right, it's been a minute. Um, I was actually on the phone with my mother just now. Oh, I need to put earrings in. Um, and her and I were chatting for a while and Tyron so kindly built this table. I will show you in a second. Um, but we're actually going back out. <laughs> so we haven't even home long, maybe two hours. Um, I was on the phone with my mom. We were just kind of like relaxing a little bit. And then um, Tyron is building the table, but we're going to the place we were at this morning. So it's Saturday night, so town is gonna be like really busy, like downtown Flagstaff. Um, I don't even know if I've said that, but we're in Flagstaff. I think I've said that. You'll see it in the title. Why don't we go back down there, you know, get a little dressed up, go out. Um, so figured I'd show you a quick little outfit. Um, my purse, it has this like old little like, like I guess strap. Um, in the back of the normal strap, it's white. I've been using this one. I have a black little like mini bag as well, but this is from TJ Maxx, my leather shacket. Um, I'm obsessed with this thing. Um, it is from Target, really like it. This little like cropped tank. Um, I think it's supposed to be longer, but I feel like it like shrunk on me a little bit. Um, it's from H&M. And then these jeans are Target as well. And then my shoes are also Target. You guys have seen these plenty of times. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling good. I'm ready to probably have some more food because I got an acai bowl when you guys last saw me. I don't think I said much earlier about where we went, but we were just exploring. Like, we went to a bunch of local spots. I bought some postcards because I always send postcards to my little brother. Probably after tonight, I'm not going to vlog, and then I'll vlog tomorrow because it's like a little weekend vlog. Um, but I got some postcards. I always send them to my brother and my mother. Um, and we just, like, explored. We went to coffee shops. went to a local bar that's, like, the spot to go We've been told by many people in Flagstaff, like, we have to go there. So we went there for a beer. Um, yeah, so we had, like, a really busy day in downtown Flagstaff, and we're going back now. So that is that. That's the plan. That's what's happened today. I feel like I barely talked to you today, and I'm sorry. This is the fit. I'm feeling pretty good. I think I look pretty good. Um, so let me show you this table, though. So it's from Amazon. You can't really see it well. Tomorrow morning, there'll be a better look at it but it's a very decent size table um it's a desk and it has a drawer right here this is tyrant stuff but has a drawer we just put the tv on it for now it's a very large very wide very long um so we're also going to use this as a desk pull a chair in here from the kitchen and use that oh don't mind my nails i just booked a nail appointment for Tuesday to fix my nails. They're a mess already. <laughs> I just got them done too in Florida. But um, yeah, so that's the table. I think it looks very good. So that is a plan. We're gonna head out. 
I'll vlog, obviously, and then, um, yeah, that's the plan for tonight, and we will chat probably tomorrow, depending. We'll see how tonight goes. <laughs> Good morning, another day of this vlog. I've been sipping on my coffee. I've been getting some work done this morning. I just warmed up some pasta and veggies. I'm very hungry and I don't know what we're gonna be doing today, honestly. I have no clue. You'll know before me because it'll probably be in the title and in the thumbnail, but currently I have no idea like what the game plan is for the day. I told you guys, I think in my last vlog, this is what I wanted to talk about yesterday, but then we got really busy. We ended up going to like back to the restaurant where we had beer and it ended up like being a restaurant which is very good and then it turned into like a nightclub um and it was like a bunch of college kids but also like a lot of adults like middle-aged people it's very odd um you know like in a lot of places like cities are very like designated for um i don't know those places where you're like oh that's where like the college kids go or oh that's where like the people in their 20s and 30s go like there's a lot of that this place was like a lot of college kids like mainly but also like there were middle-aged people there they're like a lot of adults like it was very funny but we ended up like staying till 1 a.m we literally just sat there and like people watched and we played some pool and it was very weird <laughs> i didn't vlog a ton because it was so busy and so loud there was like a dj it was a whole thing um but it's very cool it's called collins irish pub and grill if you're in like flagstaff you probably know it i just got here but yeah, it was very cool. Um, I guess that's like the spot or whatever. So very cool just to see the local spots, I guess. Um, hold on, I need to warm this up. All right. Anyway, so I wanted to chat with you guys really quick, just to, like give you some work updates. I'm putting garlic salt. I'm eating, okay, I'm eating chickpea protein pasta and veggies. I love it and a lot of garlic salt because I also love garlic salt. Um, anyway, so I wanna to talk to you guys about work because in one of the last vlogs I was like, okay, we're starting this weekend and we thought we were starting this weekend because that's what we were told. Um, but then they ended up just pushing it back to this Thursday. So when I originally thought Thursday, I was looking at this coming week's schedule. So I kind of messed that one up for us, um, that's fine. Um, because then when we got in contact with them, they're like, oh no, we're just gonna have you start Thursday instead of this weekend. Just to like start off like on a weekday. Like, okay, so if you work in hospitality, training on a weekend is literally brutal. Like for the trainee, but also the trainer because the weekends are always the busiest in restaurants. Um, and we're working in a restaurant. Training and being trained on a weekend is actually hell. So I'm kind of glad that <laughs> They're like, you know what, you're gonna work Thursday. So this gives me more time to like study the menus. It gives us time to kind of like explore a bit more. So, Cause now that we're, we have more time and we know we have more time. Um, like we want to go into Sedona and see Sedona a little bit, maybe Phoenix. Um, Tyron needs to get a car. So maybe that's going to be happening. So all before Thursday. And it gives me time to like redo my nails because they're a disaster. I just made an appointment for Tuesday um, to get them redone because they started like peeling and then I ended up just ripping them off. I hate it. What else? That's all for the work updates. There's not really much to say until like I start. Um, I'll obviously film like my first day or week or whatever. Give you guys updates, like go into depth. Cause I know not everybody's interested in like working vlogs. And I don't plan on doing like solely working vlogs. I'm just showing you all parts of my life. So at work, not at work, all the things. So yeah, it's kind of like really all the updates I have right now. I don't know what today is gonna be. Um, I just uploaded my first movie vlog here and now obviously you guys know at this point there's like three or four more vlogs before you see this so um, I'm doing well. I'm ahead and I feel good that I'm ahead because once I start working it's gonna be a crazy shit show because apparently we work a lot. Um, oh we met our housemates. They came a couple days ago. I didn't vlog that. Um, it ended up being different people than we expected because um, sometimes they do that like they move people around so we met our housemates. Very nice people. When I figure out what we're doing more, 
today i'll let you know but right now i have no idea so i'm gonna eat this get some more work done and then we're gonna get into the rest of the day happy sunday today is sunday my days are everywhere i feel like i have no routine right now i'm all over the place but as work starts and like schedules start to become more consistent i'll be able to kind of like have a better routine and obviously you guys will see that i'll share all the routines and stuff okay i'm eating i need to eat i'm really hungry <laughs> Guys, I'm on the side of a mountain. We decided to go to Sedona today because it's only like an hour drive away. And my GPS took me the scenic route, which we love. It's great. I just drove down the scariest fucking mountain of my life. Like, the GPS. Tyron tried to get like a few little clips. The GPS was going like this. That's how like the mountain was shaped. And you're just like twisting and turning the cliff is right there the guardrails like nothing people are flying behind me so we're still on the mountain but we're like farther down um we're next we there's like this little like stop on the side of the mountain like this what would you even call this like a store it's like a little shop yeah there's a coffee shop there's a little restaurant yeah it's like a little like rest stop on the scenic route kind of thing um and there's a bunch of like little cabins chalets yeah i call these cabins tyron you call them a chalet yeah. yeah so terrifying but exciting we're gonna go in this little shop i'm gonna take you through it show you what's going on very excited to show you because like what the literal fuck where are we right now Back in the car, Tyrant's here, obviously. We got snacks. This place is definitely like, I don't say a tourist trap, but it's definitely like a tourist destination. Why I'm saying that is because the guy said that this is like the first, like, I guess, homes, if you will, of- Homestead. Homestead of mm -hmm. Sedona, right? So we're right in between like that and Flagstaff right now. So back in the 1870s, right? So the first like five original structures he said are here. So like like little log cabins. So that's very interesting. Very cool. Inside you saw this like little shop, etc. etc. But we got food. So we got biltong. So if you don't know what biltong is, it's dried meat. Dried meat. It's South African though. Yeah. Specifically. So when we saw this, we're like, well, we have to try it because biltong in the U.S. Um. I'm not sure. Um, Biltong is South African, so like it's originally from like South Africa. So um, we never find Biltong in the US. Um, it's a very common thing. Like you just go to the grocery store and it's right there in South Africa. It's one of my favorite snacks back there. Um, and then we got a different version of dried meat. This is, how would you pronounce this? Carne seca? Mm -hmm. Looks like this. So we're gonna try both. That wasn't the spicy though. It's habanero. Habanero. Yeah. Well, I got a cappuccino. Washing it down with a cappuccino. You know, very classy of me. What's the coffee like? I don't know. It's too hot to try. Well, not well for me. Yeah, careful. Ooh, that smells good. Does it smell that, good? Ooh, no. That yeah, the froth melted fast, huh? Bad. What? What is it bad? Why are you making that face? It's bad. What is this? It's a cappuccino. You can taste it. Does it not taste like a cappuccino? Taste it. Cheers. Can you taste the coffee? I know it's really hot right now. It's good. I can definitely smell the coffee. It's definitely in there. Oh well. Yeah. I have to finish this whole thing. Hey! It actually tastes like tea. Tea. Yeah. It's weird. Cause I got a cappuccino. All right, we're trying this long. I know right away before you even need it, you know what you're gonna say? You'd be like, it's better back home. No, you're gonna. I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm not like that. Mm. And always let your girlfriend taste first. It's called chivalry. Oh yeah, chivalry 101 <laughs> over here. Sure. Chivalry is dead. I say that every time he doesn't open my door. Chivalry is dead. <laughs> it is. See, look. Look. You always just hate when I get the door for you. No, I never did. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Back in South Africa, 
So I've had biltong twice here. This is the second time. Here, the biltong they make like jerky. Back in South Africa, the biltong is so like soft and it kind of like melts in your mouth. I like how plain it is. It's not bad. Mm. Hot brand is that? I bet they sell that in grocery stores. Hickory seasoned. So that's like um. It is like a smoke type of seasoning. Last night at the um restaurant we went to. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um. Insane timing this girl, our server. Okay, so this restaurant was gonna close five, like close the food five minutes before, like after we got there. So they let us order and our server, okay, mind you, we had already gone there once before that day. So we were like, we're not gonna go back there, but we called like eight places to see if they had live music. Nobody had it. So we we're like, you know what? The place we were at earlier is good. Let's just go there. So we went to our server. Turns out, parents from South Africa, I spent almost a year of my life in South Africa, like total over the past three years. This girl, it was her last day serving for like a month because she's going to South Africa on an internship. She's going to Cape Town. What are the odds of that? Tell me that's not divine timing. There's no way that's a coincidence. Come on, we literally looked up eight different places to go and called eight places to go. And then we decided to go back to the place that we were already at. And it was a whole different service staff. And I'm gonna tell her to go eat biltong in South Africa. That's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me if it's spicy. Oh my god, you put the whole thing in your mouth. A little bit. What? Oh god. No, I want like a tiny piece. It's not a tiny piece. The longer you chew, the spicy it gets. Oh no. Oh fuck. It yeah. Oh my god. That's in my throat. Spicy. Okay, you're having that one, I'm having built on. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta go. We're getting there so much later than expected. Yeah. just explore like little I don't know it's like a little is it downtown Sedona kind of mm -hmm. is it downtown Sedona I'm a little stressed out I almost got in a car accident so I'm kind of stressed out I can't see Vivi <laughs> oh, so we're gonna explore downtown a little bit and probably get some food because I haven't eaten since this morning when I was talking to you guys I'm sure he's getting a little hungry aren't you oh no Tacos, that sounds really good right now. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed from that little almost car accident, but it's okay, because look where we are. How could we complain? I'm gonna find sunglasses because I can't see for shit, but look at this! <laughs> what? steal my margarita. Better not. You got a rum runner. <laughs> Came with them, I didn't read. All right, it's been a while. It is now almost nine o'clock. It is 8.38. Can you see that? 
Um, we're home. It was very fun going into Sedona for the afternoon. Obviously, we didn't like really plan anything. We didn't like hike or anything. We kind of just wanted to like see what the town was like because we hadn't really like seen it. We didn't really do any research. We didn't really know like what to expect besides like the mountains and the red rocks, which were insane, by the way. <laughs> you saw it on the vlog. Absolutely incredible. Um, so fun. It's been a fun day. Um, definitely spontaneous and like not planned, but those are some of the most fun days. Um, Tacos are not good. They weren't good. I'm not gonna lie. Like I sometimes I always feel I like I'm a, I feel bad a lot about a lot of things. I'm always like I feel bad. They weren't good. They just weren't. Wouldn't recommend <laughs> honestly. Um, I feel like we got to a point where we're like okay this is nice, but we were in a super touristy area, which is like as expected. But next time we go, I want to go hiking, and I would really like to experience like maybe like not things in the touristy area so if I have any if you have any ideas like I'd love to do like a spa and like a hotel that's like in the mountain or like something like that you know like something totally different I would love to do that um but yeah it was fun though the red rocks were gorgeous the mountain was terrifying driving up and down I was terrified both times doing it um but we made it we're good <laughs> um beautiful drive though absolutely insane I was blown away I was like this is our like this is our home <laughs> like for the next six months is our home like what the fuck it's so cool um so it was a great way to end the weekend we've had such a fun like random weekend that was so unplanned like yesterday was not planned and neither was today and we loved it so just wanted to share that and i'm gonna end the weekend with a bath so i don't think oh my god i didn't say this the other night so our water completely like stopped working the hot water it wasn't hot at all to begin with it was like lukewarm but it was freezing the other night so um our roommates when they first got here i felt so bad it was their first night they had to call like emergency maintenance because it was cold like the water wasn't working so they ended up coming and fixing the water and now it's like burning hot but I, the night before i had tried to take i said it in the vlog i tried it was a vlog ago i think last vlog or the vlog before um i tried to take a bath and it was like cold i was like shivering it was lukewarm it wasn't good um so now we have fixed water great i'm excited i'm gonna get in and it's gonna be hot so i'm gonna put it on now i'm gonna use a bubble bath and chill the rest of the night and like that's gonna be the weekend it's been so fun downtown flagstaff sedona it's been great i feel like we're like finally seeing things been here for like a little over a week now and we're finally like getting to see things so it's been fun <laughs> Using the usual Dr. Teal's bubble bath. Um, and then I'm reading 101 essays. I flip between this and it ends with us. That's the last book you saw me reading in my vlog. Um, but yeah, so I have not made a massive dent in this, but I like to read this like a few chapters like most days um but not like a ton at once it's just not there's just so much to absorb so reading this gonna get in the bath enjoy the warmness to end the night <laughs> 